Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. Today is time for another Featured Friday. And today I'm coming to you from a beautiful mountain meadow. I am in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. And our feature today is lying right here on the ground. So this is gonna be a hand sample of a rock. Um, I got two pieces here, here's one. So let's just start off as usual. I will show you just a little view of it. Um, there are mosquitoes, so sorry I disappeared there for a second. I had to bat one off. Um, good old Pacific Northwest, lots of bugs. Uh, here's your, here's, that's actually, the location might be part of the clue, so keep that in mind. Um, and here's the sample. So first, take a look. You're just going to get visual features. So let's give you a little visual inspection first. Oh, another mosquito. All right, sorry for the interlude, guys. Like I said, the mosquitoes are pretty feisty today. And like I said, that's actually part of your clue is location. So here's some more visual inspection. I'll see, this might have to be a quick one today before I get completely torn up. I'm gonna have to get some uh, uh, better gear for the Pacific Northwest because I need to ward off mosquitoes. Here is a view of all sides. Now, let me also give you some more clues. So when just looking at it, as you can see, there's some texture perspective. Let's see if I can do a nice close up there. I can tell you another clue. This is very light, not a very heavy rock. We've done somewhere I've said the opposite, very heavy. Today we have extremely light. You can throw it around so you can see that's a huge clue as well. So, so far you have location, you have visual inspection, and you have the fact that it is an extremely light piece, about the size, weighs next to nothing. So here we go. All right, also notice that it's frothy, kind of a frothy look to it. Okay, so when you have your guess as to what what rock do you think this is, I have done videos on this rock here at the channel. Um, so if you have a guess, just go ahead, plop it in the comments as usual. Uh, try not to cheat. See if you can put your guess down first and then come back and listen to the rest of the video because I will reveal what we have today in our featured Friday. Okay, guys, let's let's talk a little more about what we have here. Okay, so what we have is it's frothy. It's really lightweight. It's light in color for the most part. It's kind of kind of crumbly there. I can dig at it. You can see maybe some vesicles or some kind of look like that. There are maybe minute crystals that you can see formed in there. So what we have today is a volcanic related rock and this is called pumice. So like I said, I've done videos here before. Pumice, you can think of as rhyolitic and we talked about rhyolite here. Whoops, I dropped it. We talked about rhyolite here um, several times and rhyolite is an igneous rock. So this would be high silica content. So silica is what is found in quartz. If you have, say, think of like a pure quartz, you'd say it would be rich in silica. Um, but lots of other minerals are silica-based. The silicates is, are a huge group of minerals. Um, if you really want to start learning your minerals, I highly suggest getting some kind of um, mineralogy or mineral ID book. And... Uh, Get a mosquito off me and you can uh you can a lot of them will order will group the minerals uh by by those kinds of groupings so you'll have silicates as a category and you can look through them all it's a good way to learn and understand the properties of minerals so um i i have some suggestions for rock hounding uh gear and things you might want to bring if you're just getting started they're relatively inexpensive uh, I'll stick another one in the in the link in the comments here. I'll stick a link to a good one that I like um, for a mineral ID book. But yeah, so this is pumice today. Like I said, volcanic rock. So the way that we categorize igneous rocks is uh, one way to think of it is extrusive and intrusive. So this was be extrusive, and the easiest way to think of that is, in, in a sense, it was literally extruded from a volcano. And in the case of pumice, that's for sure. This is probably a piece of Mount St. Helens pumice based on the area I'm in. Like I said, the clue was Pacific Northwest, lots of volcanoes around me. And the specific region 
Uh, this is likely was thrown out from Mount St. Helens. Um, I don't know exactly when it's had many eruptions in, in history, but um, that's a, there's a good chance of it. So, And this is actually a decent sized piece. A lot of them break up. If you look on the ground around me, um, where I am, it's actually covered in little pieces. This The whole ground is made of pumice here. I mean, it's just pumice, pumice everywhere. All those little pieces are pumice. But I try to collect bigger pieces. So here you go. Here's a couple pieces of pumice today. So stay tuned. Every Friday I do a featured Friday and let you guys guess and test yourself and see if we can come up with what the feature is. I don't know if today's was easy or hard. You guys let me know what you think. Which ones have been the most difficult and which ones have been the easiest? I'd like to know. Otherwise, stay tuned. I'll have another one next Friday. And as always, more field adventures here at Let's Go Geo. Mm -hmm.